where do we start? When game? So Friday is the pre-registration XP. Uh, we're hoping to release the game in two weeks after that. So before the end of Oct- uh, November. Uh, those on Android can sign up, start signing up on Friday as well. Uh, the other one is uh, we, are re- we are hoping to release the RFOX ID page for um, those who've played in the closed beta as well. Uh, so those who participate in a closed beta and have coins that are supposed to be transferred if you qualify and have 250 games and above, uh, please start signing up on Friday once the RFOX ID games page is up so that we can start migrating your coins over from the closed beta to the open beta. And then for those who qualify for the slammer, uh, we'll transfer the slammers into those accounts as well. Thank you. Uh, for the Board Ape Yacht Club cogs from the Mint Lab be available in-game? Yep, all first, second, third, special editions, arena cogs and uh, Mint Lab cogs will be available in the game. All you got to do is transfer them from your uh, <laughs> makeup wallet that you've been using into the game wallet that you will get once you sign up for the RFOX ID account. Did, did we release a sneak peek or something like that? Or we have not? Of what? Of the bot it comes. We, we did. Uh, in in game, yeah. Uh, any news on the special edition? Two weeks ago, when I came down with COVID, I thought the release was soon. Any closer to the IP being known? Uh, I actually let it slip the last time I spoke about it, right? But people were not paying attention. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, uh, oh shit, <laughs> that thing went out. But I think no one paid attention. Yeah. Or so, maybe they're not familiar with the. Yeah, so That's just to, I, I'll just share a bit more. Like this, this special edition is a fundraiser for a very special foundation. Uh, so uh, we need to tread carefully in terms of the PR as well as the uh, legal side of it because uh, they involve some very important people, uh, but also uh, focused on a very very important uh, agenda for their foundation. So we should be able to release it soon. The, the one managing the project is Phil and his team. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Phil, Philip Kanyuan is the head of business development and he manages all the partnerships that we have with uh, external partners who will be coming into our ecosystem. Uh, so this will possibly include the, the next batch of uh, uh, cogs that we will be minting for Min Labs, but also partnerships with very well known IPs and uh, special IPs that we want to focus on as well. But I hope to release it probably by uh, in a week or so. I know you guys keep hearing next week from me, uh, but the thing is, there's some things that we push back because of we wanted to focus on the game uh, to make sure that we we hit our deadlines and our our. Our target is before the end of uh, November. If we transfer tubes to in-game wallet, we will lose our second rewards. Um, I think the mechanism for for staking is still related to ownership of the cogs, right, Pete? So basically, if it's in their wallet, uh, they will still be able to see them. I just am not sure whether you'll be able to use them for the tournament when it comes out, but we will get a bit more uh, understanding around how those things work after the game comes out. Tournament will not be released when open beta comes out, only arena, so we need a bit more time on tournament. But uh, right from the get-go, you can already start your play to earn experience and win some NFTs as well. I think DJ uh, had a question related to open beta. Uh, when we release open beta, it will not include tournaments. Like I mentioned just now, the focus is on having Arena up and running. Uh, the reason why we're holding back tournament is also because it, it, in the, the, <coughs> the staking system or the pooling system is still being uh, implemented. So it will take some time. Uh, one of the reasons why we also will benefit from a slight delay of the tournament system is that uh, we want to make sure there's a large amount of people playing already when the tournament system is uh, implemented. So a month or so after game after game launch, uh, you should be able to see the tournament system. Uh, it goes in seasons, so we'll announce season one soon. 
Uh, I came across a question during, I think, would be the first couple of questions during the interview that Benny did with uh, one of our community members was was a really uh, good interview. Uh, but one of the questions asked is, is, do we have any plans on allowing the users uh, to use the NFTs they've earned uh, in the game on a marketplace and be able to use uh, our Fox to purchase and sell it? Uh, that's the function the intended function of the marketplace that we're building. So those who are in the closed beta, if you look at one of the uh, sections in the game, you see marketplace, which is supposed to be coming soon. That's the place where you actually can uh, trade uh, the cogs uh, that you want to buy and sell the cogs that you want to sell uh, to anyone in the uh, community. So we, we want to design a system where you can also uh, be able to trade on a marketplace on the web as well, uh, but we should be able to make a light version of it on the app for, for convenience sake. Uh, we're still trying to uh, sort out the first few parts of the game first and then marketplace oh, well, should come well, soon after. When will future cog place burns take place? They're happening right now, mate. No, no, Benny, we haven't burned yet. We're still buying. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll announce fun. once we... We are about to burn. We'll announce we'll make a big party of it. Yeah, Probably but during this what, AMA. what I mean is it's ongoing, the fact that we're, we're still buying cogs to burn, and the thing is that the number of those is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I think, I don't know how many we're up to now. It's more than 7,000. Seven, 